welcome back to our channel. Today, we're in the kitchen. It's a chilly Sunday afternoon, and I got my Dutch oven out. We're gonna cook some dinner. Go ahead and grab yourself two pounds of round steak. It can be top round, bottom round, eye round, whatever you wanna get. It's gonna cook in the oven for an hour after we brown it, so whatever steak you choose, I like any type of round steak. It's fairly inexpensive, and after it cooks in the oven, it is fork tender, fall apart. Season it with some salt and pepper. Put a tablespoon of oil of your choice in your Dutch oven. Go ahead and heat it up, and you're just gonna brown your meat. And while you're waiting for your pan to heat up, go ahead and preheat that oven to 350 degrees. And you just wanna put a little bit at a time in your pan, you don't want to overcrowd it. I usually do a nice thin layer at the bottom, grab a bowl, and when this is brown, you're just going to pull it out and put it in a bowl. You're going to take it out of the pan anyway, so just do it in batches. I'd say five minutes per batch. You just want to make sure the meat is brown. Like they say on that one cooking show, brown food tastes good. <laughs> brown food tastes good. After this is brown, you're gonna need one large onion or one tablespoon of dehydrated minced onion. You know, I hate cutting onions, so dehydrated onions for me. And the fresh onion you're gonna put in after the meat is browned. The dehydrated onion, I'll tell you when you put them in. It has been a crazy busy weekend. My birthday was Friday and friday night me and a couple girlfriends we went out to dinner we got a hotel we got to our hotel around nine o'clock and we really just stayed up until one o'clock just giggling and laughing and talking and it was such such a good night such a good birthday night thanks to chris for staying home and watching the children and then Last night, me and Lila had a daughter mom date night. We went to P.F. Chang's for dinner, and then her favorite K pop band had a concert behind the scenes and it was playing at the movie theaters. So we went and did that. Went and did some shopping. This first batch is getting nice and brown. And don't worry about all of the brown bits stuck to the bottom of your pan. We're totally gonna get those off later. I think I'm gonna take this batch out and put in the second one. If you don't have a large oven-proof Dutch oven that you can bake in, you really need to get one. Because for dinners like this, it is perfect. As tempting as it may be to stir this meat, just let it sit. Just let it really grab that bottom of that pan and get all those yummy brown bits. As you can see, the puppy, he's just getting so big. He went to the vet <laughs> last Thursday and he is 30 pounds. Lila put a little Christmas bow tie on him, but he, he is no small puppy now. He is not the 12 pound little puppy that we picked up in the beginning of November. So I started looking for a recipe for what I call a braised beef. And we just serve it over egg noodles because a local diner that closed about five years ago served this every Thursday and it was my absolute favorite. And I went searching for one that I could make myself. And this is pretty damn close to how Kathy used to make it. So we've made this a few times now and it does not disappoint. It's super, super easy. You know, you spend 15 minutes at the stove top and then you throw it in the oven for about an hour. And the steak just gets nice and tender. This batch is almost ready too. So when your last batch is done, go ahead, if you need a little bit more oil, go ahead and put a little bit more in. If you're using raw onion, go ahead and add your extra oil, and then put your raw onion in. I'm using dehydrated, like I said, hang on, I'll tell you when to put it in. So go ahead, get two cups of water, go ahead and pour one cup at a time, and then you're just gonna scrape the bottom of that pan, and all those yummy brown bits should come right up. 
Go ahead and pour your other cup in. So to your water and onions, if you have the raw onions in there, you need this better than bouillon beef. Go ahead and put one tablespoon in there. Sometimes if I have to, I'll get a whisk. That stuff, the better than bouillon is really gonna give it that punch of beefy flavor. Once that's all mixed in, is where you're going to take your tablespoon of dehydrated onion and just go ahead and stir that in. Once that is all stirred in, you're gonna take your meat and put it right back in the pan. A water mixture should just about cover, you know, 90 to 95% of the beef. Let me show you what mine looks like. So you'll see my water mixture pretty much covers all of the beef and that is exactly what you want. Go ahead and turn your heat off. Put your lid on. Your oven should be done preheating by now. Get yourself some pot holders because your Dutch oven's gonna be hot. And stick her in the oven. 350 degrees, one hour. Then when it comes out, I'll show you how to make the gravy to thicken it up to put over your noodles. So I set my timer 15 minutes before because I know when that timer's up, Hey Chrissy, it's time to start your noodles. So I got my noodles here boiling and there's six minutes left of my timer. And when that's done, meet me back here and I'll show you how to thicken it up and then serve it over the egg noodles. So the timer just went off for the beef. Go ahead and pull it out of the oven. You just wanna make sure the beef is fork tender. Oh, it smells so beefy. Where's the beef? My noodles are done. Turn them off. Turn your stove on a medium heat. In a bowl, go ahead and mix together three tablespoons of flour and three tablespoons of water. Pour that right into your mixture. Like I said, medium heat. That is gonna thicken right up and give you that nice, gravy consistency and it really does not take long for it to thicken right up and if it you put a little too much flour and water mixture in you can thin it out with water it's fine all right let me drain my noodles and we'll plate it up give yourself a couple spoonfuls of the egg noodles and then go ahead with the beef Add a little more of that gravy gravy. All right. And there you go. What I call braised beef over egg noodles. It looks so, so, so good. So you could go ahead and top this with whatever you want. You could top it with some sour cream if you want. I like it just like this. So, so good. All right. Make this this wonder. Go ahead. It'll warm you up from the inside out. All right, thanks for checking out this video. We will see you on the next one. Cheers.